mighty are the conquerors who have swept through history. But no Napoleon or Caesar more mighty than the prince of conquerors, Genghis Khan. Many are the actors who have achieved stardom, but none have rocketed more surely or sensationally to the highest galaxies than the Academy Award nominee of Lawrence of Arabia, Omar Sharif. Outcast. Slave. Born a slave I never was. Born to rule the Yasugai was always in my stars. And not only one tribe, but people of many tribes were destined to follow me, to fight my battles, conquer nations. All this was in my stars. And to bring to life the full sweep and magnitude of such a story, a cast of towering stature. Stephen Boyd at last finds a role as mighty as the part that brought him international attention in Ben-Hur. If I were free from this yoke, my hands would still your jackal breath forever. So would I! Put this animal back in his cage. James Mason crowns his gallery of unforgettable characters with his wily interpretation of the Chinese ambassador. Perhaps once in many centuries does the world produce a man with the power and the will equal to his vision and destiny. Genghis Khan is such a man. Eli Wallach caps his Broadway and Hollywood achievements with his most devilish creation. You and I will ride together against this Genghis Khan. We will crush this wolf this thirster after blood, this corrupt defiler of women, this scavenger. And as the Emperor of China, one of the world's most distinguished men of the theater, Robert Morley. But the girl whose beauty will enslave the conqueror, France's newest star, Françoise Doliac. <laughs> the conqueror of the Prince of Conquerors. Listen to me, Temujin. Hear me well. There are only two things you can do with Jamoka. Put him under the ground. For all time, or put him at your side. Where the story was set, so went the camera. The Great Wall of China. The splendor of an emperor's palace. Here indeed are scenes of unequaled beauty and spectacle unparalleled in any motion picture. 